it's a historical icon, you know, especially the 308, but all the Hudson engines are a piece of history, right? I think everything that the human race has built, you know, over the years is a, a piece of history, and I love old machines, you know. I, I think that the things people figured out and the way they engineered things, especially before we had, you know, computer-assisted design and, and digital architecting and stuff like that. It was really incredible what folks came up with. And this is that, you know, this is an indicator of that, these old flatheads. They're just, they're incredible, they're robust. Uh, just the way that, that they engineered and did things, not just, you know, the way they overbuilt things, really. Just to learn about the engineering and the tooling and you know, how the war kind of influenced the way that some of these manufacturers built things, not just Hudson, but it truly is a, a piece of history, and I think we kind of owe it to ourselves to preserve them as much as possible. Keep the Hudsons running, you know, keep the Hudson engines running too, not just the, the bodies and the frames and things like that. It's important to me to, to kind of show not just my generation, you know, I, I wasn't alive when Hudson's were common, you know, on the road or still being manufactured. Neither was my dad, you know. I'm kind of a third generation Hudson family that way. Um, but I think it's important to keep these things running, especially the flatheads, just to show people what things were like, you know how engines looked and worked and felt and operated back in the day type of thing. I think there's a lot of knowledge and experience that comes with that. You know, we're kind of at this tipping point now where electric vehicles, and not just electric vehicles, but really smart vehicles are starting to become normalized. And I think it's hard to know where you're going without knowing where you've been. And I think preserving these, driving these, keeping these old engines on the road uh, is a way of, of knowing that and appreciating that. I don't want people to forget about these engines. I don't want them to just go and sit in a junkyard. I want them to, to exist. They're living, breathing things. And if you can keep them going, that's neat. That's really, really special and unique. Getting eyes from a Tesla over here. There you go bridges that gap perfectly. <laughs>